Hey, I'm Kira from Kira Derryberry Photography in Tallahassee, Florida, and these are my tutorials. Hey everybody, uh, so today we are going to do um, some cinematic dodging and burning uh, using a non-destructive um, dodge and burn method. Uh, this one is a photo of my brother um, that I have, uh, this is kind of the end result. Um, I'm going to show you, this is the after, this is the before. Um, I did retouch him a little bit before the tutorial just because we weren't going to get super into retouching part uh, for this one, for the purposes of this one. So um, I wanted to kind of give you something that was closer to finish. But so I retouched him a little bit and then I did this dodging and burning thing. Um, to me, I've always been really attracted to uh, movie posters um, and how they have that kind of, it's like, it's like almost plastic feel, but it's more, um, I don't know, like extreme highs and lows, that cinematic kind of sharpness that's cool and it makes people look a little realer than real life um, that I think is fun. Um, so without uh, further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, let me turn this off so you can kind of see. Um, what I'm going to do is I am going to keep that layer turned off and I'm going to actually, I'm just going to delete it so it doesn't confuse anybody. Um, Okay, so this method is going to be not using the dodge and the burn tool um, because what that is going to do, if we duplicated our layer and started dodging with the dodge tool and burning with the burn tool, we're actually affecting the pixels on the image. And I don't want to do that because if you do any messing up, this is, you know, it's kind of hard to go back on it and, um, and you kind of start to lose the integrity of the final photo. And if you're ever blowing up something really big and you can really see mistakes like that. So we don't want to do that. Uh, so what I am going to do is I'm going to create a new layer with this new layer uh, button hit down here and I'm going to name this one Dodge and Burn Your Brother because that's who this is. This is my little brother Ian and um, he comes to visit a couple times a year and uh, sometimes he comes and makes faces for me in the studio which is really cool. So I found this photo of him today and I thought this would be a good example. This might be a good example because one, it's a guy, right? And usually when um, I see dodge and burn tutorials, it's with women. And I do retouch guys and girls very differently. Um, but two, my brother has a lot of sharp angles in his face and a lot of darks and lights in his face naturally. So I thought this would be a good, good way to show you how I'm going to kind of follow um, where his lights and darks already are to kind of enhance it a little bit. Um, is this like a photorealistic real uh, retouch? No, this is not a photorealistic retouch. This is something um, to kind of give it that, like I said, movie quality, movie poster sharpness that I think is kind of cool. So let's go. We've got this Dodge and Burn Your Brother new layer. Second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the layer properties to soft light. Okay, that's super important. If I don't change it to soft light and I just do it on normal and I've got my, uh, my uh, paintbrushes here, it's just going to do weird stuff. Well, I say that. It's going to do nothing. How about that? It does nothing. There you go. All right. So what we want to do is we want to put it on soft light. Oh, it's because I was on dodge. Yeah, you shouldn't watch these tutorials because I have the wrong tools selected. All right. So let me show you that example again. All right. Let's see. Normal, 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 normal. All right. See this? It's starting to like yeah, it's burning, but it's like this grayness that it's adding, this like dirtiness. We don't want that. So if we change this to soft light, it's still, I still have, you know, his actual skin color in here, um, but it is darker. So see, now you can see my lines. This isn't a good one. All right. So I'm going to select all that. I'm going to delete it. All right. But I've still got my soft light on, my dodge and burn layer turned on, and my, this is super important, black and white brushes selected. So with the soft brush, I'm going to be on about 10% because I like to build. You could be on 20 and that would give you a bigger, um, bigger effects. And I don't recommend going to 100 though. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to dodge. I'm going to follow the natural highlights of the face that the lighting is already providing and that his natural shape of his face is providing. So where I'm going to dodge is the same way I would dodge kind of on a girl is um, under the eyes. I'm just kind of dotting it in. I'm using a Wacom tablet too if you were curious. Um, I use a Wacom tablet most often for retouching because it just makes things way easier and it's more like painting, which I'm terrible at, by the way, but, you know, makes me feel fancy. Um, 
All right, so I've dodged. I'm dodging a little areas of his skin. It's possible that I've done too much right here because he already had kind of a hot spot. So I'm going to take my eraser um, and I'm just going to paint that back a little bit. All right, let's do a little bit of burning. So I've changed to black. And am I on the paintbrush tool? Yes. Okay. So I want to make him look even darker and more mysterious. Right. So I'm going to kind of play up his facial hair here. And this is a good, a good trick if you've got somebody who kind of has some like holes in their facial hair. Um, you can burn that hole in a little bit and it kind of makes it look like it's a little fuller. Um, or like if somebody has a bald spot, which my brother doesn't have. But if somebody has a bald spot or something, you can kind of burn that in with this technique. Um, but I'm going to follow where um, like the edges right here right here I'm gonna get I'm actually gonna work on his shirt a little bit because I want it to look a little I want to define those wrinkles and make them look a little sharper all right playing into the spots that are already dark and I'm gonna burn just around the edge of his face here because I'm just trying to define the structure of his face right I'm gonna get in here around his nose just go and burn crazy. Now, I'm going to scale back in a minute and just see if that made it a little too much. Burn around my hair. Right here. All right, coming back to my dodge tool. I'm using the X key, and that toggles my brushes back and forth. It's a very fast little trick there. Um, all right. Let's see. Burn. Burn. Dodge. All right. That's probably enough. Now, um... Oh, I want to go back to the shirt. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna dodge the high loops. Switch. Dodge these highlights in this shirt just for fun. Make it look a little shinier and newer. 30. Alright. I said purdy. Oh my god. Alright, let's see here. How does that look? Let's see where we're at. Yeah, look at that. All right, let's. I'm gonna go back because sometimes you can see things a little more dramatically when you go back a little bit. I feel like I'm a little bright right here, so even zoomed out like this, I'm gonna go back out with my black and sh you know shape that up a little bit. I don't want to like you know make it look too strange. Oh, what I haven't really hit is the hair. Let's do some some highlights and um, low lights in the hair. Now he has black hair, okay, so it's harder to see highlights and low lights in his black hair. Um, but he has some grays, and they do start to show up. And I think that uh, that salt and pepper look on him is quite distinguished. So I'm going to define it a little bit more. I'm on the white. I am going to come in specifically with a smaller brush, and I'm going to highlight those shiny spots on his hair. Should I have had a stronger kicker on the left side? Probably. But we're not judging my photography right now. We are... Highlighting the highs and lows of my brother's hair and making him look like a distinguished gentleman that he is. All right, and then I'm going to come back and maybe just, just fill in a little of the darks in case I, uh, you know, dodge too much out. Um, oh, I'm going to get my white again, and let's make his beard look a little more gray. Let's shine it up. I think it looks shiny, you know. It kind of gives it that shiny look without going too plastic. Um, I'm against plastic in face retouching, but um, I do like it to look a little shiny. All right, I'm going to give him a little dodge in his lip there, a little burn around the edge of his lip there. You know, we don't want him to look like he has makeup on or anything, although he wouldn't care. Um, and let's see what we look like now. Hey, look at that. His nose is a little red. Maybe, maybe I should have retouched that out. Um, but... If I think it's too much, maybe what happens if I do that? There we go. Zooming out. There we go. It's just kind of like, you know, we're making um, the edges of his face a little more apparent. We're making him look a little more angular, which he already is. But we're just, all we did is we burned around, like, where his cheekbone, underneath his cheekbone, right in here. We dodged under his cheek right here. And in the spectral highlight in his forehead, too. These are kind of the three places that I go for when I dodge. Um, we added a highlight in the lip. Um, I burned around the edges of his neck, which I feel I feel as though I could even define just a little bit more looking at it now. Okay. And, um, you know, 
this is fun. Let's see. Let's burn it in a little even more. There we go. Look, now it's super dramatic. It almost looks illustrated. You know, it's just that kind of cool look. All right, so the other thing I want to do is I'm going to show you how you can use the same method to burn in, you know, the edges of your, do a little vignetting without actually making a big circle around the image. I'm going to turn up my opacity a little bit more. It's 44 is probably too much, but let's just see what happens. Because I feel like it's burned here, it's burned here, but maybe we could have a little more burning in here. Ooh, look at that. Is that too much? All right. Now, now it kind of looks like there's like a little bit of a spotlight on him, right? I'm going to go back to his shirt and bring back some more of those highlights and come back down. Just for kicks. Did I mention I'm obsessive about stuff like this? And this is why retouching takes me so long, which is why you should find somebody else's tutorials to watch. Hmm. Too much. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Okay. That's just a kind of cool, different look. Is I will send him, and he'll have a new profile picture for fun. What, how about we do this? How about we highlight that, too? See, I can go crazy. I can go all day long, so I should stop. But I'm going to um, end this tutorial with this. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned how to do some non-destructive burning. You should totally try this out on fitness uh, photography. That's a really good place to practice this when you have um, some dramatic lighting trying to show def definition in like ab muscles or arm muscles. You can highlight with the dodging, um, you know, all the lighter areas of the skin where the light is hitting it. And you can enhance the shadows with the burning mechanism of uh, using black on soft light. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please let me know. And if you've got another trick that you'd like to see, um, if I know how to do it, I'd love to show you. So, um, you know, send me an email or um, message me here on the comments and I will show you another tutorial sometime. Thanks. Thank you.